Bună ziua! Astăzi îl avem alături de noi pe fotograful Jonathan Saieb, de origine din Tahiti, care, de-a lungul călătoriei sale cu scop profesional în jurul lumii, a făcut un popas în orașul nostru. Cu propria sa companie de fotografie și video, fiind principalul colaborator al resorturilor de top internaționale, producând reclame pe tematici diverse, cu accent pe sport, va chiar în propria afacere bijutieră, cu pere din ocean, Jonathan lucrează în prezent de la distanță, un prilej oportun de a explora urbanul Timișorean, capturând finețea locală din punct de vedere arhitectural, cultural și social. Hello Jonathan, thank you so much for this interview. It's a great opportunity for us. I have no idea what you said in Romanian, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounded nice though. After the uh, as I've heard, so in our previous discussion, your first career as a professional photographer was encouraged by more than just passion. Can you maybe elaborate how you came in contact with the profession? Uh, yeah, I'll say that again. Um, it it didn't really start from a passion. It uh, started more from a need to actually make money. And then uh, I was lucky enough to have like great people around me who helped me out with that. Uh, I was basically just taking random shots until a friend uh, told me, hey, you've got a knife for that. Maybe you should give it a try. And um, uh, her name is Stephanie. She's a pastry chef like a three-star Michelin pastry chef. And then uh, she gave me the opportunity to actually shoot uh, their dessert collection for um, their restaurant, uh, like quite a famous restaurant in Vietnam. And that's pretty much how it started. I shot desserts and food, spent uh, like, yeah, I think, uh, I think we shot for about 26 hours straight, something like that. Uh, just to try to get like three images. <laughs> so that's what happens when you don't really know uh, what you're doing, but eventually they like the result. And I guess that's how it started really. <laughs> just by watching the final projects of your work suggests an adventurous by all desire life journey with constant traveling and producing perfect material. Is it actually more than what meets the eye and what lies behind those pictures? What are the weaknesses of such a career? Uh, you mean uh, in terms of um, like the life of being a like media content creator? Exactly. Is it easy? Can anybody do that or is it actually more than what is to be seen? Well, like first of all, I think like the, um, the thing that most people don't really realize because Um, there are a lot of pros, that's for sure. You get to travel a lot, you get to meet amazing people, like fantastic places and resorts and all this. But um, like the exterior point of view, when actually people witness your work, they just see the end result. So they don't really know what's behind the scenes. And most of the time it's um, like you travel to some places. I'll just give you an example. Uh, I was shooting in Jordan in Petra, like the famous temple. And uh, well, I realized that I was in the place only when I was back to the office while editing the video. I didn't <laughs> even yeah. experience or saw anything. And uh, so that's the kind of, um, yeah, like the, that's the kind of life you have really. Like you go to some places to work. Uh, it's mostly to work. So. You spend, um, sorry for the, <laughs> it's in the street. Uh, you spend a crazy amount of time just focusing on uh, what you've got to shoot, on planning, on like uh, communicating with clients. And uh, there is very, very little time actually to enjoy. Uh, so that's the part that most people don't realize when you do that. And I guess like uh, yesterday, it's funny, like we went to that lavender, field uh, mm -hmm. here next to Timisoara and <laughs> I actually shot a, a short video that I will probably post uh, like today or tomorrow uh, about like the behind the scenes of actually like all those girls taking selfies <laughs> so you see the end result on Instagram and you go like oh wow she looks hot but then like I was I was actually filming the behind the scenes where it actually literally takes like a thousand shots of somebody trying to get the perfect uh, thing. And that's pretty much what it is. And 
that's something um, eventually I try to get away from and then get more toward like um, what is real life and um, because I kind of lost the passion for it because of like that uh, fakeness I would call it yeah but on the same topic why would it be worth it to follow such a path it's definitely worth it like uh, you I guess you learn a, a lot about yourself um, you learn a lot about like you have the chance to discover amazing places and um, like as I said amazing people really like uh, I think the the, the most uh, I would say the most beneficial thing that I uh, that I experience in this field are the people you meet uh, and Actually, that's the reason why I think he, I got to a point in my career where I'd like to balance a little bit more because you get to meet amazing people, but your work is not about those people. And uh, so that's what I, now we are working on some project where I'm actually focusing on the amazing people that I met and then like uh, kind of giving them the words through our work like media production rather than just uh, shooting some places, golf courses, resorts and just like making it look as beautiful as it can and um, yeah the people are, are for me the most important. You have your own company and the creation which is based in Vietnam with collaborators from all over the world. What tips do you have for the ones who are interested in opening their own business? Uh, well, first of all, you have to be aware of something that is like opening your own business. I think for most uh, younger people which I've, uh, whom I've been uh, talking to, they have like really um, the wrong uh, idea of what it is to actually have a media production company. It's um, like at the end of the day, uh, producing media is just going to be I would easily say only maybe like five, I, I would call it like shooting time would be about 2% of your time, editing would be about like 15% and the rest would be planning, communication with client, revisions, uh, like re-editing, like sales and like posting on social medias which is, uh, which is pretty much the sale uh, aspect of the thing. And um, yeah, that's uh, like opening a company itself, it's, it becomes a business. You, you, they, they won't be, it's not going to be like, oh yeah, I like to shoot, let's go shoot and then boom, <laughs> this, this is going to happen. Uh, accounting is involved, taxes are involved. This is something that uh, I know it, it, it sounds obvious, but I think for a lot of like younger people, uh, they don't uh, they they don't realize that side like uh, uh, also having employees having employees it's like the I believe the hardest thing <laughs> like really the hardest thing uh, to to train to manage to to know if you're fit for it like I know I I always sucked at human resources <laughs> so it's uh, yeah. Like the, the, uh, having a business is really having a business. It's not being a photographer, really. And I've got one last question for you. Nowadays, because of the huge impact of social media due to a worldwide di digitalization, the competition is enormous. One needs a photographer more than just simple talent and knowledge of technique in order to make himself or herself noticed. Um. I would say just shoot, 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 shoot. That's it. Like it, nowadays, I think just uh, to put it simply, I think it's a matter of uh, I would. I don't really like the term, but I think that's where we live in. It's uh, nowadays people uh, consume so much media, so. It's a matter of just producing. And I think a lot of us, um, I went through that as well. A lot of us get stuck into 
consuming more than we actually produce, meaning that we get stuck into thinking, oh, uh, I'll watch some videos to know uh, what new lens I have to have or like what thing I need to buy. And then we try to tend, uh, we tend to, to think, oh, uh, I'm not quite there yet because I don't have this or I don't have that, uh, which at the end of the day is like I that's my personal opinion is simply uh, wrong and uh, it's just a matter of like just creating 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 content and like just putting it out there and and uh, try to be uh, I would say as real as possible and I think this is this is the part that is the trickiest nowadays because we we kind of lived for the last uh, few years into a very like edited world and uh, so we, we kind of got to a point where we we think that maybe the more we edit the 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 more we will get noticed but i think it's just a matter of uh, focusing on the on the on the value of the content maybe or like uh, as you uh, so i started to make some random videos and it's really like the, the production quality is not great or anything like that. It's just a matter of getting out there, shooting the stuff that I like, and that kind of like motivates me and gave me back this passion to actually like communicate with people and get curious about what the fuck they're doing and like how does it work and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the part that is the most uh, important. Just create more than consume.